today in this video we are going to discuss about generalized coordinates so what do you mean by generalized coordinates the smallest the smallest number of variables or you can say coordinates required to describe a system describe the configuration of a system of a system are called are called generalized coordinates now you see suppose we have a particle moving in a circular path in x y plane suppose so in x y plane so we have imposed conditions that means constraints in the motion of this particle this is x coordinate this is y coordinate and here uh, this is the radius of the circle r which is fixed radius is fixed this particle this particle is moving uh, in the circular part okay and this angle is suppose theta and to describe its position here we need two coordinates x and y okay so x and y will give the position of this particle so now you see so this is y and this is x so now you see if we express uh, this uh, x and y in terms of theta in terms of theta so then we will get x is equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r sin theta and squaring and adding these two equations we will get x square plus y square is equal to r square okay so now as we know that r is fixed here this radius is fixed So it must be equal to constant. So it is constant. Though x and y, these two are variables, but squaring and adding, we have got uh, that. That means sum of their squares is constant. So here, in this case, only variable is theta. So theta is called generalized coordinate. as there is uh, only one generalized coordinate in this case so here its degree of freedom degree of freedom is also 1 is also 1 so number of degrees of freedom number of degrees of freedom of freedom is equal to number of generalized coordinates is equal to thrice n minus k k is constraint here number of constraints M number of let me use another ink here k is here number of constraint number of constraints number of constraint and n is number of particle here number of particle so in this case we have taken only one particle system so number of particles n is equal to 1 and we have imposed two conditions here one is it is moving in circular part and in the plane x y so k is equal to 2 here in this case so degrees of freedom will be 3 into 1 that is number of particle minus number of constraints that is 2 that gives 1 
So, as you can see this is number of particle uh, sorry number of uh, de degrees of freedom that is 1 here and number of generalized coordinate is also 1 there is only one generalized coordinate. Okay. So, now you see so, what do you mean by actually? So, from here we can say that the generalized coordinates are the coordinates uh, are the coordinates uh, that uh, we obtain after eliminating the constraints because we are subtracting the constraints from here, isn't it? After elimination of constraints, the remaining coordinates are generalized coordinates. So, hope you have understood this. Now, let me take one more example here. Now, suppose let me consider three dimensional space here. Suppose this is x, this is uh, y, and this axis is z. And suppose in space there are three particles one, two, three. If there are three particles, suppose so, number of free particles here in this case number of free particles is equal to 3. So, this is a system of three particles this is number of free particles n. Okay. So, each of them require three coordinates. Okay. So, that is why here in this case number of uh, degrees of freedom will be thrice n 3 into 3 that is equal to 9. Now, let us impose constraints here. So, I have said that here they are moving, but the distance between them is fixed. We have considered that this uh, the distance between them is fixed. Okay. These distances are fixed they are constant. So, in this case we have constraint imposed 3 number of constraint k is equal to 3. Then now uh, if you find the or if you calculate the number of degrees of freedom then 3 n minus k that uh, now you have to eliminate the number of constraints here 3 into instead of n we have to write 3 because there are 3 particles and number of constraint k is also 3. So, in this case it will be 6. So, here its degree of freedom is 6. So, here minimum number of coordinates required also 6. So, that means uh, here you see um, that means uh, generalized coordinates required to describe this system of particle configuration of this uh, system is 6. Okay. So, I hope you have understood the concept of generalized coordinates and degrees of freedom how they are related and uh, I hope uh, this video is helpful for you if it is then share with your friends and if you are new to my channel please subscribe the channel help me to grow my channel thank you for watching